Ok, ça tourne. C'est bon mm. So we have in front of us the distribution of the, of the soil aggregate for the two cropping systems. So the soybean, the monocropping of soybean under plow base, under plow base management, the soybean under direct seeding mulch based cropping system management, and the reference that we use that is a pasture land, it's a brachiaria mulato. And so we have the distribution of the, of the soil aggregate. So what we did, uh, I explained that already, but we keep exactly the same sieves that we use uh, for the fragmentation of the soil residue. We selected uh, aggregates on the field higher than 19 mm and we bring uh, that aggregate uh, into the lab. And after we did this process of water stable aggregate, so using six classes of, of sieves from 8 mm, 4 to 1, 0 0.5 and 0 0.25. So, I mean, obviously we have a very contrasted difference in terms of, uh, of, of biomass on the topsoil between the two cropping system and the pasture land. Huh? The, the monocropping of soybean, we have a very small quantity of residue on the topsoil, less than 2 tons per hectare of dry matter. We have quite 9 tons of, of above ground uh, biomass residue on the topsoil for the CA DMC system and for the pasture land around 12 tons of residue. So the quantity and the quality obviously will have a strong impact on the soil physical property. Not only, but I mean we are talking here about the soil aggregation and the connection between the aggregation and the protection of the soil organic matter. So first what, what we can observe, if we look for the, for the biggest macro aggregate, higher than 8 mm, we can observe that the quantity of, of the macro aggregate is very, very small under the plow base management. When we compare with the, with the DMC, we have around 6% under the, under the CT and we have almost 52% under the DMC and on the pasture land, 82%. On the pasture land, obviously, I mean, the brachiaria is a grass so we have a continuous input of biomass and we have also a very strong rooting system, a lot of exudation with polysaccharide and so on. So this polysaccharide and the roots also will act as a binding agent and will improve the soil aggregation. But what is very interesting also is to observe that the macro aggregation with big macro aggregate bigger than 8 mm, it's also a very uh, easy large proportion under the, the DMC. Now, when we look at the CT management, so we can observe that the quantity of the, of the big macroaggregate is relatively small, and this quantity of macroaggregate will increase progressively for the lowest class of macroaggregate. We can see that the quantity of macroaggregate for the 1 or 0 0.5 millimeter, it's 18 and 28 percent, so it's a lot. We don't have a lot of big macroaggregate, but we have this distribution with a high quantity and proportion of the smallest macro aggregate. So what does it mean? Obviously, I mean, under, under uh, plow base management, the soil is disturbed every year. So we have this process of disaggregation of, of the soil structure. And so the soil is much more sensitive to the runoff, uh, to the soil erosion, uh, water and, and wind erosion, in fact. And also the fact that we will disrupt the, the, the soil aggregate, we will also expose the soil organic matter that is protected inside the aggregate. Uh, we will expose that organic matter to the microbial attack and to the oxidation. So it's really uh, the main difference when we compare with the DMC management. The DMC management, we have a lot of big macro aggregate and the proportion of the smallest macro aggregate is relatively small when we compare with the, with the city. And so that means that the soil aggregation is much better, okay? And at the same time, as we have much more macro aggregate and that the soil is not disrupted by the, by the, by the plow every year, we will protect much more the, the fresh organic compounds that will go into the system, you know, and the, the libile organic compounds. So it's one of the main advantages that we have with under DMC. 
obviously we, we improve the, the soil physical properties, the water infiltration, the water retention, but also the protection of the soil organic matter and so the accumulation of the soil organic carbon. Finally, when we look the, the reference and the pasture land with the Brachiaria mulato, we have a huge proportion of the big macroaggregate and we have a very small proportion of the other classes of aggregate. We can also observe that we lost also uh, quite a, a relatively high proportion of, of soil that is lower than 0.25 mm with 18% under the city management, 17% under the MC, and 14% under the, the, the pasture. So if we have, in brief, if we have to summarize what we have to keep in mind when we have this kind of, of distrib distribution of soil aggregate between cropping system, it's really to, to look at the macro aggregation. If we have a lot of macro aggregates, that means that the the quantity, the input, the quality and the quantity of the organic inputs that we have, uh, it's very good and help us to improve the soil aggregation. Improving the soil aggregation means also to protect the soil organic carbon and the fresh organic carbon. So a better soil aggregation will contribute to the soil organic carbon accumulation. And, and so the, the soil organic carbon is the soil organic matter, and obviously we have a lot of nutrients. Uh, we, it's not only about the carbon, but it's also about the nitrogen, the phosphorus, the sulfur, and so on. So we have to, to, to keep this one in mind. I mean, better will be the macro aggregation, more efficient will be our system in terms of carbon accumulation, in terms of water infiltration and retention. So when we talk about climate smart agriculture, we have to think about this kind of cropping system with a high biomass input above ground and below ground. Because one of the, let's say one of the main players also for the, for the soil aggregation is also the root system and the association of different root systems that we have under the DMC management because we are using different kinds of crops in rotation and in succession and association with the use also of the stylosanthes guianensis as the main cover crop in this DMC system. So the root system, it's, uh, it's, it's of paramount importance. Eh? It's not when we talk about rotation, it's not only we have to think all exclusively about the rotation of the, of the above ground, of the, of, the, of the biomass that we have above ground. But when we talk about the rotation, we have also to think about the rotation and the diversity of the root system that we have into our system. So, I mean, I'm done with, uh, with this presentation. And if you want to have much more information, you can also have access to the e-learning resource that has been developed. That is related to the soil aggregation, but that is also related to the soil organic carbon, uh, soil organic carbon preservation, protection and accumulation. Thanks a lot. Bien joué, le lien à la fin, le recours, c'était bien. Bon, voilà, les enfants.